I mean, all about the Benjamins. You know about the Benjamins. You know about the Benjamins. I mean, all about the Benjamins. It means all about the Benjamins. Let's go! Uh. Uh huh, yeah. Uh. Uh huh, yeah. It's all about the Benjamins, baby. Uh. Uh huh, yeah. It's all about the Benjamins, baby. Uh. Uh-huh, yeah. Uh. Uh-huh, yeah. It's all about the Benjamins. Morning, morning to everybody. What's going on? Welcome again to another exciting adventure of All About the Benjamins, the only show that never starts on time. I hope you got your double cup of coffee. Today is a fantastic day. It's Veterans Day. Shout out to all the veterans out there, everybody who served our country and did everything that they did in the wars and everything. And we just want to, um, you know, give you some honor and say, uh, you know, thank you for your service and thank you for everything that you did. I know uh, a lot of my friends, their family members that had, uh, had people in the war the whole nine yards. My grandfather was a veteran as well. Um, so we just want to take this time and this moment to honor you all all the vets out there. Matter of fact, uh, anybody who has a vet in their family, even if you are a vet, just say it, uh, post it right there in the in the comment section. Uh, we just wanna give you props for, uh, for everything that you've done. So, not gonna hold y'all up. It will be very, very quick today because there's not really so much to talk about. I Somebody came to me with a topic and I said I'll talk about the topic but there was something else that I had already planned to talk about. We're going to talk about the topic next week, which I appreciate that. I keep telling y'all as well, if there's topics that you want to talk about, please hit me up and let me know. So, I'm a very big Michael Jackson fan, as most of y'all know. I'm a very big Michael Jackson fan. I always have been. I always will be. His music is great. Let's be real. Let's be real. His music is great. The stuff he comes up with. The, the content, how everything works, it's absolutely fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. He kills it. But y'all got to understand when there's, a, there's sometimes an underlining message in some of these writers' songs. A lot of the songs that you listen to, you keep thinking it's one thing. I don't, not had, I have have a very close friend, a musical brother of mine, wrote a song. Oh, it was a dope song. It, it is still is to this day a dope song. I listened to it off of his album. And it's absolutely dope. It's absolutely fantastic. He said, what do you think this song is talking about? And I was like, well, based upon the lyrics and everything like that, this, this song got to be talking about love. It's got to be talking about, you know, wanting to see somebody or when you... Like one of those like just my imagination type songs. Like I see her over there and I want to be with her, but I'm a little nervous to talk to her type stuff. He was like, nah, this song is about technology. And I was like, gosh, dang. The way that the lyrics were written and everything, you would have never knew this. And the song is hot. The song is hot. It's a duet song. And it's absolutely ridiculous. But then once he told me what it was about... And I'm listening to the lyrics again. I'm saying, gosh, dang. Absolutely correct. Of course he's correct because he wrote the song. What I'm saying, I can see it now. With that being said, y'all are not listening to these lyrics in these songs. And you sing them all the time. Y'all ain't even noticed. I didn't even notice until my cousin slash big brother Quinn told me about it. We were watching TV, and the Michael Jackson song comes on. The way you make me feel to go the turn me on. Every time I do this, it's me playing the bass. You knock me off of my feet. You know, killing it. And as He's killing. I'm listening to this song. I'm like, yo, Quinn, this, I, I'm sorry. This song to this day will be the dopest song ever. 
He said, yeah, this was a 100% stalker song. I said, wait a minute, what? He said, don't you remember that video? And I said, yeah, I remember the video. It wasn't no stalker song. He said, fam, what happened in the video? I said, I said you know, this girl was just walking down the street. And she was, when she was walking down the street, all these guys was catcalling her. And when they started catcalling her, you know, she walked past them. They weren't paying them attention to nothing. They weren't minded. You know, they were minded. They were just saying whatever. She was like, man, whatever. And she kept walking. What happened? Michael Jackson comes out and goes, hey! And she turns around. Because obviously when Michael Jackson screams, you got to turn around. So... He screams, she turns around, music start. Oh, no, no. You knock me off of my feet now, baby. Ooh. You know, music starts. And now when the music starts, <laughs> I didn't notice this until Quentin said it. This girl is trying to do everything she can do to get away from Michael Jackson. And he's just chasing her. Every time she turned the corner, Michael Jackson show up and he keep cornering her. And she's trying to leave. And basically, in more words or less, he's like, you ain't going nowhere. You're going to stay right here. I'm going to get you. I said, gosh, dang. You're absolutely correct. Absolutely a hundred percent correct. I never noticed that before. It's a it's a dope song to me. I loved I love this song. I told you I'm a big Michael Jackson fan. And the groove man, it's such a it's such a good groove. You know, it's a it's a great do. I, I, I could do that groove forever because it's just a it it it, it just it feels right. And now I come to find out, hey baby, baby with your high heels on, give me fever like a never ever know, just a prodigal of love and I'm sitting there thinking the whole time. I'm like, oh come on, man, Michael Jackson just talking, saying compliments to this girl. But now when you put the lyrics behind what he was doing, <laughs> it was wild. This girl was trying to get away. Go back. I'm going to post in the comment section below. I'm going to post the link to the video. Y'all watch the video and then come back and watch this thing again. First of all, it didn't make no daggone sense that this girl had a skirt that started at her waist and ended at her waist. <coughs> That's first and foremost. She had a short brown outfit on and was walking in a dark alleyway. Whatever. Ben, you're rude. Maybe that was the only place she could go to get to where she had to get to. Okay. Well, then that's, you know, the only place she had to go. So she goes down the alleyway, and after she goes down the alleyway, that's when all these guys, and it was all like old guys. So I got to, that's what we to cool at first. They was all sitting in their lawn chairs and just talking, hey, hey, look at that. Mm, that thing right there. Woo hey, girl, come here. Do people, even, do, do people even cat call like that anymore? I've never personally heard cat calling. I've never heard it. I've seen it on TV, but for as long as I've known, as long as I've been around, I've never seen anybody. Eh. Yeah, I say that. The cat calling I heard has been a little different, you know, because you hear cat calling on TV. It's always, you know, hey, mm, hey, come here, hey, baby, hey, give me a little bit, hey, mama, you know what that is like. <laughs> I, I if, cat calling I heard growing up was like, ew. <laughs> it's plain and simple. Girl walked by, she looked right like, ew, hold on, ew, ew. Girl don't respond, I ain't gonna respond. But that's the most you're gonna get, ew. You hear that, ew? 
You, where are you walking? You know? That's that's what I heard of cat calling. But all that, you know, hey, baby, come in. <laughs> I ain't never seen that. But maybe it happens. But anyway, cat calling. And, you know, it's old men like, oh, mm, girl, I'll sop you up with butter biscuit and gravy. <laughs> Whatever. You can't call a girl just walking past and get your hand to these old dudes. All of a sudden, Michael Jackson come out. When Michael Jackson come out, every, y'all already know, every Michael Jackson video. When Michael Jackson come out, the whole ambiance changes. Everything is everything until Michael Jackson comes out. Nothing is, is working right. Nothing is going good until Michael Jackson comes out. Happens every time. I mean, no matter what video you see, it's always something until Michael Jackson comes out. Every time. If I, if, if I as a kid knew, back, if I as a kid knew back then what I know right now, I'd be able to predict every Michael Jackson video. There's always some... Something that's happening, some either terroristic threat or something horrible that's happening. And you go, what are we going to do? And Michael Jackson stepped in. <gasps> Michael! You always know he's going to see the day. So anyway, guys are catcalling. The chick ain't paying no attention. Now Michael Jackson comes out. Changes everything. So Mike comes out. And when Mike comes out, the girl is, the girl is like, it just walks past him. And the girl just walks past him. And guys are like, ah, Michael Jackson, she ain't listening to you. So Michael's like, it's cool, I got this. <laughs> I got this. So he goes back. And like, he come, like, the way she was walking, watch this. Watch. The way she was walking, she was walking one way. And he came from like around another corner. Did he? He didn't hear about the Me Too movement. He just came from around the corner. He didn't want to take no for an answer. So he comes back around and she just walked past him again. Ah, Mike, she ain't listening to you. So now Mike get upset. Hey! Everything just stops. Girl just turns around. What? Chick, why did you just turn around? That man just screamed at you. First of all, he just came from like around the corner from somewhere else, like a Pac-Man video, and 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 stood right here in front of you. And you said no again, and now he's screaming, hey, why are you turning around? Run! This is not going to end well for you. You are in an alleyway with a skirt that starts at your waist and ends at your waist. Run! She can't run. It's a Michael Jackson video. She ain't going nowhere. <laughs> so... Michael Jackson, you knock me off of my feet now, baby. Starts doing all his weird Michael Jackson dances. The Michael Jackson dances were dope for me back in the day. I loved them. I thought they were great. I could not do those dances to a female. That would get me thrown in jail. You cannot run to a female and start moving your feet around and thrusting your pelvis in her face. You can't do that. That'll get you thrown in jail. But this was a, this was the '90s, I guess, when that sort of thing was okay. I right, whatever. Gas was ninety nine cents. Whoppers were ninety nine cents. Domino's pizza was actually on time. Things were different in the '90s. <laughs> Things were good, so I guess you were allowed to do that, and it was okay. So then a whole video. This girl is like, hey, look at look on her face. I'm telling you, I'm posting this. In the comment section below, the whole video, the whole video, this girl is running and Michael Jackson is just basically teasing her. Like, you ain't going nowhere. You know, the way you make me feel, the way you make, she's like, ah, 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 you really turn me on, you really, ah, ah. just leave me alone, Michael Jackson, please. <laughs> nope, you knock me on from my feet now, baby. Michael Jackson, please, stop it, nope. Lonely days. Gone. You ain't going nowhere. The whole video. And we ain't even see it. 
we ain't even we ain't even see it. We were just like, oh man, Mike is killing it. And the whole song, Mike is like, you ain't going nowhere. I'm going to keep you. And the girl is scared out of her mind. And the funny thing is, after the whole, when it's all said and done, Mike was doing all that trash talking in his music, all his songs, doing all this dancing, pelvis thrusting, the whole nine yards, Mike's doing all this stuff. And then the girl finally gives up. And comes to him and he comes to her. So, you know, the kid, I'm like, oh, Michael Jackson gonna get the kiss. And what does he do? He hugs her. If that is not the weirdest nonsense, all this, and all this other stuff. Look at the, if you watch the video at one point in time, at one point in time, him and some other dancers came out of nowhere. Because every Michael Jackson video, dancers have to come out of nowhere. They have to. Like, every person that you think is a regular person is really a dancer. The toughest of the toughest. The toughest of the toughest. Boy, come out. Pectorals, shoulders, the whole nine yards. This joker come around and just start... You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah. I, we'll edit that part out. So, you know, the, at one point in time, this girl's running away. I think she thought she was getting away with it. The next thing you know, Michael Jackson comes out with some dancers. He always had dancers in his pocket. And they just start doing this weirdo dance in the alleyway. This weirdo dance. They start doing some... Get on the floor. Just start humping the floor. This is happening. All the, and the girl is just sitting there watching all this. I think it's more like she's just amazed. Like, I don't, there's no way this could possibly be happening to me right now. But how do you explain this? You know, <laughs> explain this to your friend. Girl, I was waiting for your call. Did you make it home safe? Child, you will not believe what happened to me. What are you talking about? Well, you know how I had to go to, you know, 5th and Walnut and Avenue just to get home? Yeah. All right. Well, I go there after the club. I leave. And these old men start hollering at me. Uh, I hate when that happens, girl. Yes, I cannot stand when that happens. Anyway, there was this young man. And this young man, he tried to start talking to me. And, you know, I ain't about all that. I ain't trying to hear all that. So I just walk. And he starts following me. He starts following you. Yes, girl, he started following me. Did you blow your whistle? I didn't have the whistle because I had a short skirt, girl. You already noticed. So anyway, I'm running, and everywhere I go, the, the, the man corners me. Oh, my gosh. Did you make it out okay? Yes, I made it out okay because he just started dancing. What are you talking about he started dancing? Well, you know, he was talking to me about all this nasty stuff, and, and then he just started dancing. And, and oh, he, he just started dancing? Yes, he started dancing. Weirdly. Girl, how did you get away? I, I finally gave up and I was, you know, I was getting ready to grab my mace, but all he did was hug me. So wait a minute, he did all this, he did all that stuff and followed you and, and chased you the whole time just to get a hug? Yes. Did he even leave you his number? No. Matter of fact, as I was leaving, I saw another girl coming. I think he did the same thing to her next. <laughs> Oh, that was the, oh my gosh. Let me take a couple of comments. Yo, man, this stuff cracking me up. Cassie, today's songs don't match videos either. I don't even listen to today's songs. I don't know what today's songs are. Like, I barely listen to the radio. In my car, I, I drive silently because I try to hear my thoughts on ideas that I try to come up with. <laughs> So I don't even listen to, I don't even really listen to uh, the radio like that or any of what these new songs are. And these new songs ain't even the same anyway. Stuff that used to be stuff ain't really stuff now. Rap is changed. I, mean, I, I, I rant about this all the time. Rap is not even the same no more. Rap nowadays is, is I'm with the coming and this eminent feminine women and I'm flipping the and they're never talking about nothing. 
Never talking about nothing. Back in the day, rap used to talk about that real stuff. You talk about Resda. And the way that rap used to talk back in the day, they would talk about wanting to be out of the struggle, but the way they made the struggle sound, it made me sound, it made me want to struggle. It's how they would rap and talk about it. I'm tired of the way that I'm living if I gotta bring the cat and the people in the kitchen and the t and I'm sitting here like, yeah, oh my gosh, I can't wait to be broke. And that's how they did it back in the day. That's what it sounded like. Now? Come on, man. This rap stuff nowadays is horrible. This is horrible. They're not saying nothing. They're not. They're not. What's the topic? I'm late. It's all good. It's all good. It's not really even so much of a topic today, Michael. I'm just, I'm really just kind of talking about how you got to look at what the title of the show is. I always tell you what the topic is by the title of the show. Today, I'm just talking about the Michael Jackson video, The Way You Make Me Feel. That was the ultimate stalker video. That's what the ult. it was the ultimate stalker video. This was a video about Michael Jackson wanting this girl and doing anything he could do to get her, which means just following her everywhere and like not letting up. As I said before, I'm going to post the video in the comment section when I'm done with this. And y'all watch this and then go back to this video and, and hear everything I'm saying. I'm telling you, it was crazy. Lyric, yeah, I, I hope after you watch this video that you go back to some of your other songs that you like so much and listen to the message. It's crazy. Cat was talking that. Yeah, I, I loved the video too. Until I realized what it was about. Michael, you would love that video until you were actually the girl in that video. I already know for a I know for a fact. If somebody says something, you try to holler. You said, no, I don't want to talk to you right now. You know, it's, and they said, no, I'm just trying to holler at you real quick. No, I just want to talk to you right now. No, leave me alone. I don't want to talk to you right now. And he chased you for five blocks dancing. I'm not done with you. You coming to me. We going to talk and we going to talk for, for five blocks. You will get sick of that. But that's what he did. Dorian, MJ turned into a Black Panther at the at the end at the end of uh, what's the song? Black and white. At the end of the black and white music video. It's black, it's white. It's up to the be it's black, it's white. Woo! Boom, boom, boom. And Michael Jackson walks away, and then he turns into a Black Panther. Uh, no, 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 no. The Black Panther turns into Michael Jackson. The Black Panther walks away, and as the Black Panther walks away, all of a sudden... He gets up on two legs and he morphs into Michael Jackson. Then Michael Jackson is in the dark alleyway and starts dancing. That whole dance thing, I mean, that video was cool. Because that whole dance thing was this whole big political statement. It was this whole big political thing. Because yeah, if you watch that video, there was, there was, he was, as a kid, I just thought he was smashing stuff just to smash stuff. But if you look at the things he was smashing... It was a lot of stuff like anti-Semitic stuff and uh, the, the Nazi slash he, was, he beat that. Somebody had put something uh, on something like I hate niggers or something and he smashed that. And, uh, you know, he, he was he was saying some political stuff in there and that was good. That was cool. It was weird that as soon as he got done dancing, he turned into a panther again. I did but, I mean, he's Michael Jackson. He can do that stuff. Again, everything that I'm saying, Michael Jackson has... I comment a lot about Michael Jackson just because it's funny if you really look at the stuff that he does. But at the end of the day, Michael Jackson had enough money to do whatever he wanted to do. If he wants to use his money and turn into a panther, what are you going to say to him? He got money. He could do that. He could do whatever he wanted. Michael, been that girl. I live in Philly and I work... I live in Philly and I work at a bar. I live that... Nearly daily. Yeah, but you live in Philly. There is no Philly guy that's following you for five blocks and dancing. They may follow you for five blocks on some other stuff. <laughs> they ain't going to be dancing. 
Michael Jackson was harmless, but it was just weird. It was weird if you look back at the video. Did you know what's messed up about that? As a kid, I watched that. You know, as a kid, you watch that, so you think, oh, that must be how you do it. Because, I mean, he got the, at the end of the day, he got the hug. For five, for five blocks, he, for five blocks. And after five blocks, he got the hug. So, you know, if that's what you're going to do, then you got to be, you know, maybe that's how you do it. Now, I never tried that with girls because, number one, I couldn't dance like Michael Jackson. Number two, I was scared I'd look like a friggin' idiot, which I would have. Now, as a grown man, I definitely couldn't do something like that. Right, makes you think, you dance, and keep following you getting that hug. <laughs> yeah! You know what's so crazy? And even after, if we really want to take it here, he didn't even have to go five blocks. All he really had to do, he's Michael Jackson. All he really had to do, for real, for real, when he walk up to her, she go, I ain't want nothing to do with you. <laughs> I don't think you understand. That's my Ferrari over there. You don't even have to walk. <laughs> Let's take a ride. Girl gonna be like, Ferrari? I'm in there. She like, what do you want from me, Michael Jackson? I don't want nothing. You were walking. It's late at night. A bunch of old men talking to you. I didn't want that for you. I just wanted to give you a ride home and ask for a hug. Is that okay? Can I have a hug? That's a little weird, Michael Jackson. No weirder than me chasing you for five blocks. How about that hug? Michael Jackson. He can do this stuff. Don't listen. Don't let me have Michael Jackson's money. I already told y'all, first of all, I had Michael Jackson money. I'm changing the way I talk, saying things like pish tosh. You say something, I got <laughs> pish tosh. The absurdities. I'm talking like that. Because I got Michael Jackson money and I can. I'm going to wear a monocle. That's the little circle thing that the peanut guy has on the peanut box. I'm going to wear a monocle and have it right under my glasses. Why would you wear a monocle and glasses? Because I got Michael Jackson money. I can do that. I can do that. My dog would have a monocle. And my dog can see fine. But the monocle would just be so that y'all know that we have money. Dorian, he could be like, you ever rode on a panther? <laughs> yeah, but plain and simple. It's a great opener right there. Hey, girl, what's up? How you doing? Listen, I'm not really trying to hear this from you right now. Ah, you didn't let me finish. You ever rode on a panther? <gasps> what are you talking about? Ah, 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 ah. Just wait. <sighs> Michael Jackson turns into a panther. Oh, my gosh. And he could talk to her as a panther, you know. Yeah. And that's some crazy stuff. I'm a panther. Huh? Huh? Now. <laughs> How about that hug? <laughs> everything Michael Jackson. I could, I could do this for hours. And everything is going to result back to the hug. Because I'm not getting over the hug. There was no possible way that you chased this girl for over five blocks just to when it's all said and done get a hug. What? Y'all remember the song? Y'all remember some of my favorite songs? Uh, keep it in the closet. That song is dope. Watch that video. In the video, it had uh, it had the, the she was a I can't even think of her name. She was a model at the time. Very beautiful woman. I forget it. I can't, I can't think of her name right now. Y'all got to see the video. It's a very, very beautiful woman. Michael Jackson comes out with his bird chest and his skinny arms and a beater and is dancing with this model. And the whole time when he's dancing with her, he's not even dancing with her like, keep it, yeah, keep it in the closet. Yes. The whole time while he's dancing with her, 
He's not even really dancing with her. Not even really dancing. Like, he's dancing, but he's not dancing. Like, she's trying to dance with him. Naomi Campbell, thank you. <laughs> that was driving me crazy. Um, the whole time, she's trying to dance with him. And the whole time while she's trying to dance with him, he just... In the band, it's your baby. He ain't really dancing with her. But the song is about some nasty stuff. It just I can I can barely understand the Michael Jackson words. I just knew that he was saying some nasty stuff. He was saying some nasty stuff to Naomi Campbell. And Naomi was down in the video. I don't remember all the words, but you know, you know when we get to the part, you know, she starts whispering. And you can do this and tell me something. If you come with my man. Touch you now, touch you now, break the spell. Oh, because something about you, baby, that makes me want to give it to you. That's the song. And Naomi was down. But Mike was like, no, nah, bro. Unless you're giving this hug up, I'm cool on you. <laughs> Every Michael Jackson video results in a hug. If you look at it, he never kisses him. That's some weird stalker stuff. Like stalkers, stalkers, like stalkers, they don't even want to, like they just want to be around you. They don't even want to like, they want to do weird stuff. You know, let me hug you. Let me play with your feet. That's that weird killer stuff. You know, let me clip your toenails and make sure everything. That's that weird stalker stuff. That's what he's doing in these videos. Michael, this is facts. He's on that weird stalker stuff. Naomi was down. She's sitting here dancing with him. She's trying to hold him. He's like, get your hands off me. <laughs> Something about. I know she in her head like, what? What are you doing, Mike? Chick said she wouldn't hug me, so <laughs> I wasn't down. It's that weird stalker stuff. I can, I can pick out a bunch of Michael Jackson videos. What's, what's, what's the um, my Michael Jackson video? What's that song? Uh, him and Chris Tucker. Y'all know the song. Y'all know what song I'm talking about. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, you rock my world. You rock my world. You know you did everything. That th Michael, stalkers want to smell you. Exactly. That's it. Stalk, stalkers, they don't really... Like, they just want to do... Like, you cut your hair, they just want to clip your hair. And, and, and rock my world. The same thing. What happens in the beginning of rock my world? Him and uh, Michael Jackson and Chris Tucker eating Chinese food. And Chris Tucker... When the, Ooh, look at that girl right there, Mike. You know, and Michael Jackson... Michael Jackson didn't even look like he really cared. Like he was just eating and he oh yeah yeah no nah. yeah you yeah, know nah, she looked good and he's like Mike what's the matter with you she looked good he's like no 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 I mean it no she looks good do, do you think she gives hugs what nothing 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 just just talking <laughs> every time then the whole song then he comes in to the bar and gives trouble comes into the bar starts a bar fight and as he starts the bar fight. He goes up to the stage. And what does he have on the stage? Dancers. I'm telling you, every freaking time, Michael Jackson has dancers in his back pocket. He came into the club with just him and Chris Rock. But as soon as Tom came, he got on stage. It was a whole gang of dancers. And then they beat up everybody. All for the girl. Did he kiss the girl? No, he hugged her. Yo, yo, it's crazy. This is that stalker stuff I'm telling you about. Stalkers, stalkers ain't paying attention. If a stalker really wanted to know how to stalk the right way, he'd watch a Michael Jackson video. If that teaches you how to stalk. You got to dance. Have dancers in your back pocket. Always have a dancer in your back pocket. No matter what. Because you never know when something's going to happen that you would need. I would, again, if I had Michael Jackson money, I would always have stalkers just in my back pocket just in case. You never know what's going to happen. 
I'm, I'm, I might be sitting here at the job. And as I'm sitting here at the job, somebody just pisses me off. Just says something I'm not supposed to say, making me snap. Am I going to snap now? I'm going to snap. I'm going to snap Michael Jackson style. If I snap Ben style, here's how it's going to work. Hey, listen, I don't appreciate the way you're talking to me like that. Don't talk to me like that. Uh, we're going to have a conversation with your boss and because da -da 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 -da, I'm sick of this. That's not really that effective. They'll probably snap on me again or do something stupid to make me mad later on. Michael Jackson style? <laughs> this is the way you want to do it? You really want to go this way? This is what you want? Now, you notice, as I'm doing this, I already got five dancers in the back of me. I already got five dancers in the back of me. And guess what? Because you just got on my nerves at work, you're going to watch all this dance. All of it. Every second of this dance. And then ultimately, it'll result in us working out, maybe even with a hug. <laughs> that's, that's what happens. Michael, watch the videos. Watch the videos every time. Nothing but Michael Jackson hugs. Every time. That's all he wants to do is hug. That's all he wants to do. He don't want, he don't want no problems. He just wants to hug. I'm trying to think of another video before I get out of here. And I can't think of another. Because I'm trying to think. In Thriller, in Thriller, he didn't even hug the girl. In Thriller, they left the theater and then he turned into a monster and chased her. And then, but if you notice, he chased her. You gotta think about it like this. If you really like, think about it. Let's talk about Thriller too. In Thriller, first of all, he's walked. I don't even know how he turned into a monster. Like, it, it wasn't even a zombie drone, like, the zombie bit him, and then he turned into a monster, or, or, or the zombie spit blood at him, and then he blood got on the top of the bottom of his lip, and he turned into a, like, literally, they were both together, the girl and Michael Jackson, and these monsters are coming out, and as they're coming out, Michael Jackson is just standing there, and, and, and as Michael Jackson is just standing there with the girl, the girl's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this. And she turned around, and Michael Jackson is a, is, is a zombie now. And she's like, wait a minute, what? Did they bite you? No. What, what happened? They hugged me. Thriller! I'm going to get this hug. Thriller! Not, you know. And dances like that the whole time. Chases her all the way to some abandoned house. Girl, why did you run into an abandoned house? Whatever. She runs into the abandoned house. Everybody breaks in. Music gets crazy. Now you figure, you think, you think, okay, these monsters just broke into this house. You should have seen the way Mike broke into this house. Mike just poof, punched through the door, took the chair that was in front of the door, tossed his drone like it was nothing, broke through with his shoulders, poof, you know, do, 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 do. and I'm like, oh, this is the part. Now you figure any monster has this girl, it's a zombie. We've seen the zombie movies, especially nowadays. What happens? Zombies don't walk up to you slowly. After a zombie breaks in, he bites your face off. That's what happens so that you can become a zombie. As soon as they take the chair, toss the chair, that was your face. Your face is done. You already know that. What does Michael Jackson do? Michael Jackson walks with his army of dancers behind him and touches her shoulder. He touches her shoulder. And then she wakes up. That's what happens. <laughs> Are y'all getting this? Are y'all seeing this? Touch your shoulder. Mike, why'd you touch my shoulder? I just want to know if I could get a hug. <laughs> Thriller does end with a hug also. It, it, bro. That's all it, every time it ends with a hug. He touched her shoulder. She goes, ah. <laughs> What's the matter? Come on. I'll take you home. Picks him up. Got his hand around and getting ready to hug. Then he turns around. Ah, 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 ah. It's going to be some hugging tonight. Oh, I and the funny thing about the hug thing is, I'm I'm telling y'all, I didn't even peek this until I started talking with y'all about this. Every joint I watch, no matter what, hugs. That's what you gonna get? You gonna get hugs? 
So if you see Michael Jackson, <clears throat> you see Michael Jackson chasing you, even as a zombie, don't be afraid. He, he, all he wants to do is hug you. That's literally it. You see a Michael Jackson ghost, don't, don't start snapping. Give him his hug. Just go on about your business. You'll be fine. Trust me. You'll be fine. Now, I'm a guy. I'm not hugging Michael Jackson. I'd be daggone if I'm in some music video with Michael Jackson. He goes, come on, bro. Let's hug it out. Yeah, yeah you lost that one, Mike. You better go ahead. Better turn me into a zombie now. <laughs> I ain't hugging you, Michael Jackson. This is what it is. <laughs> oh, guys, this is fun. I could do this with you forever. But I got to get running. Got to get running. This has been another great time, great episode. I look forward to us talking next week, y'all. We got some exciting stuff coming up. We got some exciting topics to talk about next week. The topic we're going to be talking about is called My Child Killed My Dream. Don't let the title fool you. It's a very interesting conversation. I look forward to hearing your guys' talks about it. Um, I look forward to hearing your comments about it. Remember, every Monday at 7 a.m., tune in. We have great discussions. Hey, in case you don't get the opportunity to tune in because something else is going on or whatever the case, we got YouTube. When you said do the whole thriller, I ain't doing the whole thriller dance. Hey, <laughs> crack me up. In case you didn't miss it, in case you want to see some past episodes, we're on YouTube now. I'm going to post the YouTube link below so that you can check it out. Please subscribe to it. Yo, you're not only going to see episodes of All About the Benjamin, but you're going to catch me doing some other wild and crazy stuff. Just because I enjoy having fun. I enjoy seeing y'all laugh. I enjoy laughing. Life can be fun, and I'm going to show you how it can be fun. So please subscribe to my YouTube page as well. Let's just have fun. If there's a topic that you want to talk about, please hit me up. Let me know. I would love to talk about it and love to have a conversation. All right? That's everything. Listen, y'all take care. Y'all have a fantastic, blessed day. Remember, I love you. God loves you so much more, man. I'm going to catch up with y'all soon, all right? Peace.